5.4 million sub YouTuber JayStation confirms what most of us already knew. Alexi is fine, but she has filed an assault charge against Jay with the Canadian police. Before I get started, Jay, if you happen to be watching this, I have no other way to contact you. I'm still on Discord. I know you don't use it that much. Before you turn yourself in, please give me a call. Call. I'm not looking for an interview. I'm not looking for anything. I'm not looking for views. Just want to talk to you. And that's it. You've been very good to me. You've actually, you've been really good to me. And uh, I want to see if I can return the favor and if I can get you some help. Uh, that being said, I got to do my job, bud. Hi, I'm Tommy C. This is Shot from the Point News. No surprise, Alexia is okay. But this thing, surprisingly, not surprisingly, gets pretty bizarre. J Station puts out a video. Alexia Morano, uh, the truth about her. And I'm going to give you some of the facts and rundown of this particular video. First off, Jay starts with the video when I cannot confirm this is her or not. It appears to be her that that Alexia was complicit in making the Ouija board video and uh, was complicit on making this what is now being admitted to as a skit about her death that appears to be her right there. Now, what he claims after shortly after this video was made and they went to bed, he woke up and she wasn't there. And then he got a knock on the door by the Ottawa Police Department. Jay writes in his new video, five hours later, I wake up and Alexia is gone and won't respond. Police show up at my door after that and said she told them I assaulted her with a weapon. And that I have a warrant out for my arrest for assault with a weapon. I never hit Alexia once. And this is his interaction with the police, which is very interesting and also kind of confuses the whole issue. The officers take that report. We're just going to yeah. to come arrest you. Yeah, as far as last night, we were good. Yeah, yeah I don't know I what the... I was not here. Actually, that's true. Yeah, actually, I don't, I don't even know what day she said this happened. Did you read the recording? Yeah, today. Was it today? Yeah, because... Well, the report was, I think, the report was made. Yeah, what day did she say that? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I woke up, she's gone, and then you guys come and oh. say I saw her. Yeah, no, that's an allegation. Okay, I, know. I understand. I do understand. That's your yeah. job to come here and... Yeah. yeah. Make sure, and that's up to the court and everything, you yeah. know? Yeah. Okay, well, I have to call my lawyer. Yeah, do that. Yeah. And like I said, after that... Can you give me the card or something? Where, uh, I can read it. Or just let me read it. Uh, do you have a pen for me? Thank you, sir. Yeah. Sorry, I understand. Yeah. 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 Just give your people calls, right? And, uh, make sure you do call us and drink stuff. Alright. Alright. Have a good one. Yeah. Thank you. Where I live, the police can't arrest you if you have a warrant, if you're inside your house. Alexi is trying to ruin my life because of videos that she helped make. And uh, we have a very big critic, uh, eight thoughts. Jay Station lying again in his most recent video. Uh, the Canadian police can enter your home any uh, anytime and arrest you if they have a warrant. Now, they, they, they didn't seem like actors to me. If you think they're actors, you, you completely... It's completely reasonable to come to that conclusion uh, because of Jay Station's history. And uh, he puts the uh, an arrest warrant, gives the police the power to enter a home and arrest a person whose name is on the warrant. Does it also give them the power to let you turn yourself in the next day? Because if you go back, I want you to listen real close to the Asian officer. Give your people calls, right? And, uh, make sure you do call us and turn yourself in. Okay. All right. Make sure you do call us and turn yourself in. That's at least what I took from that. He said he wanted to talk to his lawyers. Make sure you do call and turn yourself in. So they can arrest him. That's not true. I actually did some research from my own news team. It essentially said exactly what um, 8 Thoughts put out there and a little more. But I wonder if they have an option. If they don't find the person to be dangerous. other Or, or they they don't believe the initial allegations and she can file a charge uh the it might be up to the police to arrest him so maybe they cut a deal sleep here tonight turn yourself in, up in the morning that's a guess I'm not a cop certainly not a i'm not a canadian cop but it does appear that he said call us and turn yourself in that's what i heard the asian police officers say before i let jay explain what the ideas were behind this sort of half-baked skit that they were doing Apparently, when they started doing these videos, the um, and it's not surprising, her parents weren't very comfortable with it at all. And there was, apparently, her father 
desperately wanted Jay to stop this, which he wouldn't do. Now, he claims that Alexia never made any kind of ultimatum for him to take it down, or he, uh, or he would have. Uh, if it came down to her leaving him, he would have absolutely taken the videos down. And the entire idea, to nobody's surprise, was to send subs over to the Dream Team channel where he was trying to make her uh, a YouTube career, which it's that that's what it appeared to be on the surface. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let Jay talk so you can decide for yourself. He does seem to be extremely upset. I can personally vouch his speech pattern and the way he's talking is consistent with the person that I know offline. He does seem to be visibly upset. He does actually cry and, and, and tears do come down. You can, you can see him in his eyelashes. It's not like a jump cut situation where he just seems to jump cut and all of a sudden he's covered with tears. This does seem to be a real thing that he's terribly in love with this girl and uh, he didn't see this whole thing coming as well. He would have cooperated had she made the ultimatum. All right, I'm going to let Jay speak now and he's going to talk about what went into this behind the scenes, what their plans were. Remember, this is according to him and this is his side of the story. We have not heard from Alexa, Alexia Morano yet and he's going to talk about why he did what he did it's not going to be a big surprise. We know about it was about um, uh, the Dream Team channel. And uh, here you go. So we thought of the idea. Actually, I thought of the, about the idea. What if we fake your death? And then do a skit on YouTube, pranking everybody. saying it was just a just to gain traction on the dream team channel saying it was a first we were gonna say she died then we were gonna do a Ouija board video which I did Then we were gonna call her at 3 a.m. then we were gonna resurrect her and get more followers on our dream team channel and I put my entire YouTube at risk to do it my channel at risk to do it I know like all these commentary channels it doesn't bother me what they say at all but what bothers me is that my girlfriend is gone now my girlfriend is gone now Alexia is gone let me tell you the story exactly what happened, guys. Cause I'm in serious trouble now. And I don't know what to do. He goes on to talk about the fact that he's been served a warrant. Uh, and then it, when he leaves the house uh, that he uh, will be charged. He also says that if he's not making videos in the up and coming weeks, that, uh, that, that, that he's in jail. You know, it's the the whole situation is 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 utterly bizarre. I cannot understand if he was charged with assault, why he wasn't picked up. I am not Canadian. I don't know how things work over there. Uh, I, the only thing I can really rationally, uh, logically come up with that the police might not have bought her story, and didn't seem see him as a danger, and they allowed him to turn himself in the next day, so he could come in with a lawyer. That's the only thing that makes sense to me because if we have, if I, I think if they truly believed and we've proved in this uh, video that the police can come in your house if they have a warrant with you in can with a warrant in Canada, I really truly believe if that is the case that they would have had to seen him as a danger. I mean, he, he, he attacks a woman with, the, with a weapon. So either they didn't buy it or they just allowed him to get an, a lawyer for the sake of doing it. I, it doesn't make any, it, that makes absolutely no sense to me. So either Jay is not telling the truth, he's not telling the whole story, or the charge isn't as serious as, as we initially thought. But I do believe him based on the police video, the place and the fact that we had the um, Asian officers say that, no, 
turn yourself in. That's that's the word that that I understood. That Jay is at least telling part of the truth, and uh, we'll only find out with time. Because I mean, this is I mean, like I mean, who does this? You know, I who like it, 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 it is just. There's no defending Jay using celebrities for death. Using death in general to generate views is just as bad as bad and as it gets. But, you know, I, you can see this video right here. It's not exactly, um, it's lower than normal, but the other videos weren't exactly ratioed. And I think a lot of that is, look, before professional wrestling, WWE, then WWF came clean, they used to pretend that everything that was going on in the ring was real, and the fear was if they lifted the curtain that nobody would go watch them. Of course, that wasn't true, and I think plenty of people knew that wrestling wasn't uh, a competitive sport, that it was sports entertainment well before the curtain. It wasn't like they lifted the curtain, and everybody was like, oh. So I think a lot of people that watch Jay's content understand that this is this is a work, and maybe they even expected her to be resurrected. Problem is, is great. Um, I mean, YouTubers have a very different relationship with their audience than TV shows do because it's established that a television show is uh, a fiction. Whereas YouTube, ca you can do real life pranks and you can do this, and it's it's just a really sort of fine line that, unsurprisingly, a lot of people find really disgusting if you sort of walk that line and pretend somebody's dead when they're not. I mean, I suppose the argument would be, well, people die in The Sopranos all the time. Well, that's all well and good, that argument, but it's not going to keep people from being outraged. And to put your channel at risk, which I think he clearly did, this is the third or fourth time that he's tried something like this. And the last time, I could say from personal experience to talk to the guy, he was worried about the Etika stuff that happened in June. He was, I don't think he would have uh, come on my show. Um, I'm not asking you to have empathy for Jay. He's done terrible, terrible things. Uh, I can say that I think he's being mostly truth, truthful about this with a possibility of being actually truthful. I believe that if the cops found him in danger, they would have pulled him right downstairs. And, and and locked him up for the night. Uh, there may be. But we're only getting Jay's side of the story. And Jay's track record isn't really good. Now, I can attest for Jay offline. This is a speech pattern. This is the way he talks. This is the way he behaves when he's not in front of a YouTube camera. And that's what it seemed like to me. And again, Jay, uh, I'd love to talk to you. Not about views, not about interviews, not about taking advantage of absolutely anything. Would love to talk to you. I know I promised to uh, try to get you some help. Didn't get through. I know you don't use Discord much. I can't get a hold of you on Twitter. Uh, and I like to do that. And again, I'm not asking any of you to find any forgiveness. I just like to help a guy out that helped me out, if that's fair. Thank you very much, everybody. We'll bring in more as this story develops. And it will. Mm -hmm.